The King of Fighters, SNK's biggest fighting game franchise, is synonymous with great gameplay, fantastic art direction, and of course, intricate and amazing lore. Unlike many other fighting games, The King of Fighters has one of the best written and highly detailed stories for its games and characters, and with the series making a huge comeback with the highly anticipated KOF 15, it might be time to refresh the fans' memories and also help newcomers to experience the beauty of the KOF lore. The King of Fighters 97 final battle was an event that which the world has never seen the likes before. As Kyokusanagi, Iori Yagami, and Chizuru Kagura, heirs to the ancient three Japanese clans, fought and defeated Orochi. But unknown to everyone, this massive battle was been observed by a shadowy organization, the cartel known as Nests. After the battle with Orochi, the three heroes lost consciousness, and Nest's team used the opportunity to kidnap Kyo for unknown reasons. Upon waking up, both Iori and Chizuru were surprised to not find Kyo nearby. Days, weeks, and months would go by, and the world has no idea where Kyo Kusanagi is. The massive King of Fighters 97 battle and Fallout was thought to be enough to have the competition cancelled, but the world was surprised to see new invitations sent to fighters around the world, calling them to a new tournament, the King of Fighters 99. This new tournament would change the competition's format. Each team will now consist of four fighters instead of three. While the battles themselves are still three versus three, the fourth character is dubbed a striker and can be summoned at any time during the match to help in the fight, but in a limited number of times. Benny Maruni Kaido, Kyokusanagi's closest friend, received an invitation to be part of a special team made of him, as well as the self-declared Kyokusanagi pupil Shingo Yabuki. The two other fighters were new to the scene, K-Dash and Maxima. Both Benimaru and Shingo were confused about the identity of these two new fighters as they have never heard their names and are unknown in the world of martial arts. Hydern, the leader of the Ikari Warriors, has also received an invitation, but decides to not participate. Instead, he orders his mercenaries, Leona, Ralph, and Clark to join the competition to investigate this year's event. As for the fourth member, Hyden recruits a new mercenary to the squad, the young military member Sally, who goes by the name Whip as she is an expert in using and controlling a whip as a weapon. Many fighters join the competition to prove their strength, including the Feral Fury team, the Art of Fighting team, and the Korea team. Other teams are coming to hopefully find answers, like the Cycle Soldiers team, where its longtime member C. Kensu mysteriously lost his powers, only for them to reappear in another person, the young child known as Bao, who also joins the team for this iteration of the King of Fighters. As for Iori, Kyo's disappearance haunted him, and he decided to do his own investigation, which made him aware of the Nest Cartel as he saved Kyo's girlfriend Yuki from being abducted by the evil organization. Iori would spend months hunting down nest bases looking for his arch enemy Kyo. The King of Fighters tournament has begun. Fighters from around the world were taken on each other in the new four-team format. Hydern, who was monitoring the suspicious tournament, confirmed from the satellite a mysterious image of many individuals looking very similar to Kyokusanagi, all exiting suspicious crafts all over the world. The King of Fighters 99 ran its course, and the new hero team made of Benimaru, Shingo, K-Dash, and Maxima has won the event. The winning team was then transported to an underground facility to meet the organizer of this year's event. He reveals himself as Chrysalid, and he surprisingly looked like K-Dash. To Benimaru and Shingo's surprise, Chrysalid thanks K-Dash and Maxima for their hard work, revealing they were agents of Nests all along. 
The goal of this tournament was to gather fighters' data and use them to activate a number of clones that were created from Kyo's DNA. After Nest kidnapped him following the Battle of Orochi, Chrysalid also reveals that K Dash is another clone made from Chrysalid's own DNA, created using the same technology as the Kyo clones. A reveal that shocked K Dash to his core. To finalize the mission, Chrysalid orders K Dash and Maxima to collect what he calls the trigger data, a data that would grant the clones the ability to kill people, the killer instinct. K Dash and Maxima stood still. Unknown to all of them, Kyo Kusanagi has recently woke up in one of the Nest lab in the same underground facility. Looking for answers, an exhausted Kyo started making his way towards the area where a massive battle is about to begin. K Dash and Maxima furious at the revelation of how controlled and manipulated their lives were, decide to ignore Chrysalid's order and join Benimaru and Shingo in an attempt to stop the clone's activation. After a grand battle, k -Dash defeats Chrysalid. Upon his defeat, a mysterious voice tells Chrysalid that he had failed and is no longer needed. Ness then remotely destroys the base, after retrieving the battle data, severely wounding Chrysalid in the process. As the base starts collapsing, Kyokusanagi made his way to the battleground and for a few seconds is reunited with Benimaru and Shingo. Kyo and Kadash exchange stares. Both fighters knew they are connected to each other, as Kyo's DNA was infused with Kadash's one to create the ultimate nest fire. Benimaru and Shingo safely made it outside the base, but Kyo was nowhere to be seen, as the hero decides to go his separate way to find who is behind the Nest Cartel and destroy them. The evil organization tried to dispose of K-Dash and Maxima, but were unsuccessful. The ex-Nest fighters then decide it is time to take control of their lives, to rebel and destroy the cartel themselves. Making their way through the debris, the Ikari warriors were looking for survivors inside the destroyed nest base. Whip will then find her way into the area where the last battle took place and found Chrysalid badly injured. He calls Whip his sister and asks her why she left the cartel years ago. Whip asks him whether he can recall his father's face, to which Chrysalid says he cannot. Whip tells Chrysalid that he was K-Dash's clone and not the opposite and that she is not his sister. Moments later, Chrysalid presumably dies. Months would go by, and the Nets organization remained silent and in the shadows. Hyder, trying to figure out the cartel's next move, was instructed by his friend and commander Link to bring down k and Maxima, as the two have been responsible for what was believed to be terrorist attacks. The truth was that these attacks were solely on secret Nest bases, as the two warriors are on a mission to bring the organization down. A new KOF was announced. Link wanted to learn more about K-Dash and Maxima, so he instructed two of his secret agents, Vanessa and Seth, to form two teams and enter the tournament. First, Vanessa would approach the famous Lucha Libre, Ramon, to join her and team up with the two fugitives, K-Dash and Maxima. As for Seth, his mission was to investigate the secretive Hizoku clan and its mysterious missing leader, Ron. Seth finds Lin, another member of the Hizoku, who also searches for his missing leader. The two, along with his old friend Benimaru and Shingo, form the new Benimaru team. As usual, many teams return and the King of Fighters 2000 has started, with the new K-Dash team making it to the finals. But before they could find the truth about this year's event, K-Dash was attacked by a mysterious young warrior, Kula Diamond. Kula was a product of Ness, and her codename was Anti-K-Dash. She was built as the opposite of K-Dash and can control ice. To prevent a similar scenario like K-Dash's betrayal, Kula was always accompanied and monitored by an android, Candy, as well as two of Ness's top agents, Foxy and Diana. Despite her strength, Kula could not defeat K-Dash and was forced to retreat. 
Around the same time, Link and his associates betray Hyder and revealed his true intention of powering up the space station weapon known as the Zero Cannon. Link then orders to have the King of Fighters victors, the hero team, brought to him. It turned out that the real Link was murdered a while ago and was replaced by the supposed Ness high-ranking officer Zero. However, Zero's real plan was to destroy Nests using his space-based weapon and create a new world order where he is the only ruler. In order to power up the dangerous weapon, Zero used KOF to harness the energy of the fighters through the Nest generators, which allowed him to operate the Zero cannon for the first time, and in an instant, wipes out an entire city off the map. Zero's next step is to power the generator once more, using the energy from his next battle against the hero team, then use it to destroy Ness and the world with it. The final battle between Zero and the new hero team has begun. K Dash and his teammates were able to subdue Zero, but before they could end the match, Zero attempts to use the cannon once more, yet the weapon malfunctioned, as it turned out that Ness agents Foxy and Diana have changed the control of the weapon and aimed it at Zero himself. Hydern, taking advantage of the moment, removes the weapon remote control from Zero's hand. Simultaneously, Kula, along with Candy, went to orbit and destroyed the space weapon. The explosion sent the young Ness operative falling through space, only to be protected by her android ally, Candy, calling Kula her friend. Candy's robot body does not survive the fall, but this act changes something in Kula forever. As the Zero Cannon debris fell down to Earth, Vanessa and Ramon safely make it out of the base, while Whip from the Ikari Warriors finds the dying Zero who reveals to her that she is also a product of Nests, a clone herself. Furious at the reveal, Whip shoots Zero, ending the life of the double agent Nest operative. As for K-Dash, the ex-Nest fighter had a vision, a lost memory taken from him years ago, of a little girl whom he called his sister. After snapping out of the daydream, K-Dash and Maxima find themselves in front of Whip, K Dash realizes that she looks exactly like the grown up version of the little girl he saw in his vision. As the satellite debris kept falling, K Dash, Maxima, and Whip decide to join forces and take down Ness together. Both K and Whip knowing deep down that they are related. Almost a year would go by. The incident, which saw an entire city wiped off the globe, with the use of the Zero Cannon was reported to be the result of an artificial satellite crashing down to Earth. While many people were hoping for the tournament cancellation, somehow the event exponentially grew in popularity again, which led to the King of Fighters 2001 to be announced. And with that came the unexpected announcement that an official team from NES is entering the tournament, marking the first time the shadowy organization is officially stepping into the light. The tournament kept the four members team set in, but this time each team can decide how many fighters and how many strikers it can have per match. The trio of K Dash, Maxima, and Whip will enter the latest tournament along with Lin. As for the Nest team, it was made of the cartel's latest creations, K49 and Anhel, as well as Foxy and Kula, the two agents responsible for destroying the Zero Cannon in the previous year. Ness's goal behind the new tournament is to gather all their enemies in one place and finally destroy them once and for all. K49 was the 9999th clone of Kyo and was made to be the perfect weapon for the organization. Yet he was emotionally unstable and quickly to lose his temper. He also does not trust Foxy and Kula and prefers to work only with Anhel with whom he gets along. Kula, on the other hand, has been questioning her existence ever since the incident that caused Candy's destruction. She also feels some sort of bond to K-Dash that she cannot explain, even though she knew she was born to destroy him. Another surprise return to the tournament is Kyo Kusanagi, 
the hero has been on a mission since he escaped from Nest's grasp to destroy the organization. He teams up with Benimaru, Goro Daimon, and Shingo to form the Japan team once again. As for Iori, he was approached by Seth to join his team with Vanessa and Ramon. While he first refused, he quickly changed his mind and accepted once he heard that Kyo is going to be at the event. The tournament began. Fighters all the new duked it out on the international level. Many matches brought unforgettable moments. The new hero team of K-Dash, Maxima, Whip and Lin won the competition and were invited on board of a blimp as part of the ceremony. However, the blimp was in fact a spaceship in disguise that started ascending to space, taking the winners to the real base of the Ness cartel. Inside the spaceship, a similar yet different figure made its entrance. It's Zero, the real Zero. Revealing the Ness double agent that was defeated in the previous tournament was a mere clone. The new Zero challenges the winning team to a match. He was accompanied by his genetically engineered black pet lion Glugan, Chrysalid, who was presumed dead at the end of the King of Fighters 99, and Ron, the Hizoku leader that Lin has been searching for. The hero team managed to defeat Zero and his teammates moments before the ship docked at the Ness base in orbit. Zero urges the hero team to go forward before his ship gets destroyed, killing Zero, Chrysalid, Glugan, and apparently Ron. At the same time, and with no reason, Foxy and Kula were attacked from behind by K49 and Anhel, in tandem with another massive reveal that is about to take place. Back in the Ness main base, K Dash and his teammates are now face to face with the leader of the cartel, the man named Ness. But not for long, as it turns out, Ness was murdered a long time ago by his son Ignis without the cartel knowing. Ignis was using a virtual image pretending that his father is still the one calling the shots. Proclaiming himself a god, Ignis shocked the winning team by revealing that he was the one behind their creation and memory manipulation. Before he challenges them to their final fight, Ignis decided to restore their memories as he wanted to find them at full power. A fierce battle took place unlike anything K-Dash and his teammates have ever seen. But with the combined might of the heroes, Ignis was defeated. Unable to accept his loss, he declares himself a devil and one that will destroy as many lives as possible. Ignis launches the space station hurling towards Earth. Kula, seeing the base falling, rushes down towards the descent zone. Luckily, and presumably thanks to Ron who was still alive, the station was diverted towards the water. The hero survived the fall. Kula, who jumped underwater, was saved by K-Dash. A new bond was formed between these two X-Nest agents. Standing ashore, looking at the impact zone, K-Dash, Maxima, and Whip decide to join forces with the now reformed Kulan Foxy, and a new saga for these warriors is about to begin, as Nest is finally destroyed. As for K49 and Anhel, they decided to leave the Nest lives behind and would not be heard from for a very long time. Somewhere, not far from the tournament venue, Kyo and Iori are finally about to have the battle they both longed for. But who would win? The answer to that question still goes unanswered.